Here are some poems from Volume 3 of Anarchy, Humor, and Hate, which I wrote many years ago. You're fired. Sir, you're fired. I ordered you to quit your appointed work. Time to find an honest job. Quit being a jerk. Your services rendered are not needed anymore or ever were. You clogged up smooth-flowing things. You intervened when intervention was not necessary. You made claims for the unjustifiable. You did many bad things, sir. If you were in the private sector, you would have been canned a long time ago. Too bad I can't terminate you in more ways than one. I really should be able to, but I can't. After all, what good is it being an employer who cannot fire? Pig. You, sir, are a pig. You can roll in the dirt you created for us. You never ending greed. What about our need? You soak us to the bone and feed off our flesh. Lowest of the low, money is your power. Without it, you ain't got a thing. Now, even your bourgeois friends can bail you out if you lost it. Social needs are ever present, but you are adept to everything. No heart, no love. All friends, all scum. Live in the slums you built us. Work in your own sweatshops. Eat the food you sprayed with all kinds of shit. Money is your power, money is your friend, money is the reason you exist. Slum lord, con man, robber baron, slave master. Live in your own factories, work in the tenements you erected. Eat your preservatives full of toxins. Annihilator, humiliator, desecrator. Torment, anger, sadness. Wear the rags you call clothes, drive the lemons you call cars. Eat the crap which isn't fit for a pig. Like you, how true. Profit, not quality. Greed, not compassion. Death, not life. Anything to save a buck, nothing to save a life. Sacrificing people for profit, love never made anyone rich. You have taken away our power, you have driven away the meaning of our lives. You are a devil on this earth and Satan's power. The prize. Is it not ironic? Those who toil the hardest do not relish the glory of the prize. Yet those without an ounce of sweat upon their brow steal this prize. How undeserving, how self-serving. What claims do they have to this prize? Others have envied, others have struggled, yet they still possess the prize. What an injustice, what a crime, what a shame when a gift becomes the prize. Who permits this mockery of justice to occur? They must live with the prize. How could they possibly rejoice? They must look at themselves and see nothing. Ha ha, they can have it, but they did not earn it. Living with others is horrendous, but when one can't even live with oneself, have them squirm. Under the false glory, what an empty feeling they must have. They must look deep into their conscience and not be satisfied. What was earned, it was not achieved. It became their possession the simple way. They cannot justify, they can only pretend. False, a hoax, a scam. The light on them will soon burn out. Why did they get it when they really did the least? The ultimate contradiction, irony is too gentle a word. They are liars, they are frauds. They all have the tangible but possessions of the intangible is not what they got. The real glory is not necessarily a prize itself. It belongs to the man who deserves the prize and wins it. He can see something in it, not seen by ordinary sloths or them. How are the former different? Stealers of the prize, stealers of the prize. The prize means different things to all who win it. Those who triumph without struggle find the prize meaningless. Their theft will haunt them. They should give up their prize, maybe to a lesser, but a lesser who earned it, battered, bruised, speechless, tired and exhausted. The prize will find its way to its true owners one day, even when it takes forever. Any others will be stripped, and the prize will be returned to its rightful owners, just like it should. The prize will regain its meaning. It will be restored to a thing of glory, not what they made it, a thing of mockery and shame. Its integrity will live on in the proper hands, leaving the thieves holding on to emptiness the way it should be, the way it will be, forever the prize. Destroying Television This afternoon, we're going to have one hell of a time, and consequently, you'll have more time because of it. Our destructive acts will cause you to become more constructive. We're destroying television, destroying television, destroying television, destroying TV sets. The sledgehammers we never use, we will. The buildings that were too tall to climb will climb, and gently heave your sets off. We should be rewarded. After all, we're doing good. We're helping to create a whole new world. 
will fill your it will fill your vacuum tubes with gunpowder, then ignite and run away and celebrate early tonight. We'll steal your telly set and you'll wonder where it went. We'll force you to watch our horrendous deeds. You will become free, yet you won't even know it. No more crappy sitcoms, no more money grubbing fools, no more talk show trash, no more biased newscasts, no more suppressed art. This is not for the faint of heart. We'll burn your set, it makes good fire, your TV bill will be used as scratch paper. We'll trespass into your house and shout the words, turn your TV off. No one will be immune since most were stricken. The disease we spread will help your health and cure all your ailments. You will discover you have a brain after all and it can be used for something. We're going to rip the cords out the wall, place magnets in your VCR, Fire revolvers at the idiot box, and if you resist, we'll say, tough shit. Revolutions can be fun. This is what we're proving. All of us have an urge for destruction, which we will be using. Pyromaniacs and petty vandals, time to use your talent and skill in the mode of burning and demolishing TV sets. We may make a big mess, but never bigger than the mess a TV set made. Watch the electricity going everywhere, sparks flying. Motherboards crackling, monitors flickering, broken sets are our best friends and we're the ones to do the breaking. We'll have a TV roundup, all the sets are the prey. We are relentless hunters who won't quit until we got them all. You'll be able to see things you never knew existed like sunlight and the outdoors. War toys do have their place and they can be used for good, such as blowing up every television set in an afternoon. We won't discriminate all races and creeds, sexes and sexual orientations. We'll have an equal opportunity to have their set exposed to all our destructions. You may be branded as hoodlums and vandals, but no ordinary thug ever accomplished this much in one afternoon. We may be lynched by TV vendors or major networks or the government, but this is the risk we must take. Because we're sure it's no mistake that television sets are to be burned. Just how much have you learned? Fear us, we are coming your boob tube will surely be ruined, but someday, someday you'll thank us and maybe even pay us. This world. I live in this world. I don't enjoy this cruel place. Nothing's any good. Everything is bad. The people are unlikable. The carrots are tasteless. I cannot cure the disease this world suffers from. It is so sick. It is almost dead. It is lying in its sick bed. It looks very bad. I'm very sad. I guess it's all right. I love this world.